Well, as we continue here on the show, BU All Access, our first episode of the season alongside Bernie Corbett. I'm Brian Moore. Happy to have you with us once again. Another year that we can continue to make jokes about your hair, your age. I mean, we, we've got a lot ahead of I'm just kidding. I'm just I'm, kidding. I'm still younger than springtime. Listen know, to Frank Sinatra. I'll tell you all about it. <laughs> well, let's switch, to, let's switch sports a little bit right now. And we welcome in the head coach of the women's soccer team in her 16th season. Once again, a lot of numbers up in double That's figures right now. <laughs> <laughs> see, she got her first one in right there. We welcome in Nancy Feldman. Coach, thanks so nice much for joining great us. Great to see you, Nancy. Well, three straight America East championships, five straight NCAA tournament appearances for this team. You come in this year, two and two now on the season. You've played the most games out of any sport right now so far. Uh, the last two games, though, three nothing shutouts over American and Washington. Uh, we'll talk about the last two games. What have you seen differently in those last two games than you did in the first two even? Well, it, we've gotten time to get organized. We have a lot of new faces, uh, 10 new players, <laughs> eight freshmen and, and two transfers. So from the first weekend to the second weekend, um, I think there's a better connection on the field. Um, and that's important uh, in both attack and defense and starting to build a, a trust. And um, uh, yeah, so, so I think we're becoming a m more well-oiled machine. We're certainly by no means a finished product, but uh, we saw improvements from the first weekend. You know, I love that, you know, normally you'll hear someone even n not necessarily make an excuse, but those first two games were against number 12 South Carolina and number yep. two Stanford. Played the iron. Yeah, yeah. W was there any point in that game where you just kind of said, wow, these teams are good? <laughs> well, yeah, th those teams were good, and I was impressed with how our team competed. Um, yeah. You know, it's not – you can't really judge what your team is going to be uh, this early. It, right. But what you can – what you can get a sense of is what kind of uh, competitors you have and uh, what kind of uh, attitude they have and how they are. Um, there was no fear yeah. uh, playing, sta in particular Stanford, who had been in the national championship game last year. Um, and I thought we looked them in the eye and square in the <laughs> eye and <laughs> said, uh, we're ready to play, bring it on. We're a collegiate soccer team uh, that has aspirations to be in the NCAA tournament, and uh, so are you, so um, let's go out and play. And, and that, that, to me, is... With the number of newcomers we have, um, even right. though we have a good core group back, uh, that was probably the best sign of all from the first weekend. And obvious, th that was obvious when you guys played Washington. You've never been a Pac-10 team in all the years with this program. You come out and you shut out that Washington team team that was re receiving votes as well. Uh, that must have been a big boost for this team as well. It, it was a big boost in scoring three outstanding yeah. goals uh, because it was an even game shots and it was an even game in the in the run of play. But we had outstanding uh, finishing, and um, it was actually something we focused on later uh, in the week of training, and um, just being on the edge a little bit more and taking more risks. And uh, I think the crowd might have had something <laughs> to do with it too, give a little boost of uh, energy right. to the players. But I, I think the finishing was outstanding, and that was really the difference in that game. I'm glad you mentioned the finishing, and, and this is something obviously you know that you can't always teach is how the, they finished the game, only allowing four shots in the final 20 minutes of that game. It, you can say the defense just once again dominated down the stretch, and uh, that, that's a very good sign that holding on to a lead and preserving that lead, that's something to – you hang your hat on right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. Um, we have goals for goals against mm -hmm. uh, as a team. Um, we want to be under 12. Certainly, if it's better than that, we'll, we'll, we'll take, take it. it. But, yeah, that's um, <laughs> we've always been, a st the past few years, we've been, been a very stingy defense. Right. And, uh, you know, we, we set that goal knowing we had uh, newcomers in playing in goal. We'd, Janie Riley lost graduation, and so we had some um, unproven players. But um, I think early on in training and preseason, we recognized we had uh, – very good goalkeeping yeah. and uh, had the potential to have very good goalkeeping. So I think that goals against goal is realistic. And uh, But I tell you, the 3-0 game against Washington did not feel like a 3-0 <laughs> game. And we had, we had a lot of reserves in at the end because it was 3-0. But um, I, I really credit our, our bench yeah. because they came in when it was still uh, – Washington was still going at it. And they were getting some chances. And the fact that we only allowed four shots in the last 20 minutes, those with, that was with um, probably half the, the – our bench was in at that time, so it wasn't a lot of starters still left in the game, and I think that's terrific. So it must feel very nice that you found that depth as well. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Well, last year you guys had 11 shutouts, setting a program record in that. This year you're already 18% on the way to that, getting the last two. Is that right? I hadn't done that calculation <laughs> yet. 
I Brian think that my math, math is, yeah. yeah, I like the numbers. They, they yep. sound good, at least. We'll get a Chiron for that at some point. Uh, but uh, talking about, you know, the way that they back up the American win and then do it again against Washington, obviously another good sign is seeing how they come back from a, a solid win as well. Absolutely. Uh, and against a quality opponent um, and having a clean sheet. And as I said, you know, we have goals for goals against, and that takes attention to detail and constant focus. Um, uh, and uh, we're getting great goalkeeping. But the whole team has to really buy into it's a it's a unit effort. It's not a goalkeeping effort only. And the overall system. Absolutely. Yeah. And everyone, you know, I brought a kid off the bench uh, late into the Washington game, and she was a forward. And I said, um, if you want to get more playing time, <laughs> it's about defending right now. And she's, uh, she's looking at me like, aren't, aren't I a forward? Yeah, we got uh, enough to win. We got to check that yeah. character of the job description. Yeah. Right. Exactly. <laughs> Well, you, want, you talked about the goaltending, and it's something I wanted to mention, the fact that there is a freshman in goal this year, and Kelly King, who has started all four games for you. How impressed have you been with her getting into the system and uh, playing so well right off the bat? Well, she's a confident kid, and she's talented. Um, so those two things combined, <laughs> uh, you get a freshman starter who believes in herself and um, has, has the talent to back it up. Um, she still has a lot to learn, but she's... Like with Alice Bins, who has come off the bench, yeah. they've actually split games, and Alice is new to our program, although has played college soccer. Um, they both are competitors, mm -hmm. and they um, are both gamers, and they have done whatever it takes to keep the ball out of the net. And while there's some things that they need to continue and improve on technically, um, and even understanding the game and in their distribution, what they are bringing every game is a competitiveness <laughs> to win and keep the ball out of the back of the net. And honestly, they're not getting too caught up in how they're doing right. it on game day. and. That's it's almost the, the old mentality of don't think too much, just let it play. And that's exactly where they're at. While on training days, they are continuing to work on breaking down the things that they need to do better and the technical, which in the, in the long run will make them better uh, at the end of the day. Yeah. Well, Coach, we've talked about, obviously, the resume for you in 16 years, but going through the schedule that's yeah. come here to Nickerson Field this year. Pretty amazing. South Quirk. Carolina, number 12 South Carolina, number 2 Stanford. BC's coming in on Friday and then obviously hosting Washington as well. Uh, what does this say about this program that you're getting these schools to come and play here at Nickerson Field as well? Well, I think being in the NCAA tournament the last five years certainly has put us on the map yeah. with some of these other programs and that um, they're willing to – they recognize it's a good game. Boston certainly is a place that people want to visit. That doesn't hurt. I think yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Orono, Maine, City we life, might be yeah. having a harder time <laughs> getting these teams to come That's in. That's true. But yep. um, they uh, – uh, I, I think we have proven to play good soccer, uh, competitive soccer, uh, been an NCAA team so that if they play us – uh, and beat us, um, then it is a be it's better for their it's rating. Good, yeah. So we're rated yeah. highly enough, I think, to, for it to be a good win for opponents like Washington and UConn and Boston College. So it's great for us. Five home games. Uh, I'll tell you, we're getting comfortable here. It'll be <laughs> yeah. we'll be crying on the way to New Jersey um, <laughs> on uh, Sunday. You can get real comfortable. It's a nice quirk in the schedule. Not only to have elite competition, but to get them all at home. Absolutely. And and I looked at it and I thought, okay, our schedule is pretty darn tough this mm -hmm. year, but we do have a number of these tough games at home, and that was definitely going to be to you know a good advantage for our young team. I was only, I'm only the Red Sox get well, home I stands I that long <laughs> in this neighborhood. <laughs> Well, I'm going to ask Corey this because I know it hasn't happened in her tenure here, but when was the last time in your 16 years that you had a five-game yeah. homestand? I don't know, but I, all I know is, because I'm kind of an in-the-moment person, it means we're going to at some point in the season have, have a five-game <laughs> away stretch. So You're not looking forward to that. All, That's right. to, all good things come to Find end. some comfortable yeah. hotels then. Yeah, absolutely. That's right. Coach, right. obviously you have Boston College this Friday night. Uh, once again, another game at home, but a big rivalry game and playing the number seven team in the country. Should be a lot of fun here at Nickerson. Yeah, uh, BC does uh, bring out the, the the best in us and the uh, best in you, right? Yes, absolutely. Okay. We, we uh, it, I know you asked the other young lady on the uh, field hockey team. You know, if there's anyone she circles, anyone that they circle on schedule, and certainly the next game is the one we circle on the schedule. Uh, there was the coach's response, that, but, but here we so go. It just so happens that the next game, <laughs> next Boston game. College. That said, yeah, that said uh, <laughs> next one happens to be the guys up the street there. You know, there's, yeah, there's, there you a, there's, go. A, there's a good, healthy rivalry, yeah. and uh, and the fact that they're rated number seven gives us another opportunity to beat a ranked opponent. Coach, yeah. thanks so much for joining us. Good luck this Friday. Thanks so much, guys. Thanks, thanks. Coach. That's Nancy Feldman joining us here on BU All Access. The Terriers will take on number seven Boston College on Nickerson Field on Friday night at 7 p.m. as part of this five-game homestand. Yeah. I'm glad you, you mentioned the Red Sox, what, four times already in the show well, now? that's all right. I mean, I, I've got to have some kind of a rebuttal because it certainly it, it doesn't involve – That's your response. It doesn't, right involve, it doesn't involve opening the newspaper. There's nothing to hide in me there. Uh,